Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix black screen issue with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. So make a right click on the game, select properties in the launch option, type in dash DX11. Now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work, make a right click once again. And this time type in dash DX12, launch the game and then check, still not working. You can remove this and then follow the next step. Now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this you can make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder. Now open the game folder. So this is the exe file. Make a double click, launch the game from here and then check. If that does not work, make a right click once again, go to properties, go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working go to properties once again and this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working select windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working put a check on disable full screen optimizations and then hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working so when you put a check on all these boxes still not working you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply click on ok and then follow the next step now the next step is to rename or delete the save game files now before you rename or delete the save game files create a backup because you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch to rename or delete the game uh, save game folder you can go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder open app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder open the local low folder now over here you can see quest line folder open this folder over here you will see the game folder so create a backup first so copy this folder and then you can paste it to the desktop once you have a backup created now once you have a backup now make a right click and then you can rename this you can rename it and then you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to skip this step if you are not able to launch the game but if you are able to launch the game turn off vsync lower down graphics settings from ultra to high or medium turn off dlss now for this you can launch the game if you are able to launch the game if you are not able to launch the game skip this step so to turn off the vsync uh, you can go to the game uh, go to options and then go to display option over here over here you can see vsync if this is on you can turn this off and then hit apply so press e to apply the changes and then you can check now still not working in that case you can go to options once again and then this time go to video and over here if the graphic preset is set to ultra you can set it to high and then you can apply the changes and then check if that does not work you can even select medium over here hit apply and then check still not working in that case you can go to video once again over here you can see dlss you can just select none turn it off apply the changes and then you can even uh, try window mode so you can go to display if this is set to borderless you can switch to window mode switch to window mode lower down resolution if this is set to 4k you can try 1920 to 1080p you can even lower down more and then you can check now the next step is to verify the game files to verify the game files make a right click on the game and then select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100% complete launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like a vast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program this is important okay. now if you are using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security go to windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it and then click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add and allow app click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so in my case the game is installed over here so open the game folder select the game exe file and then click on open 
now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings at the top and then click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder so steam steam apps open the common folder open the game folder select the game exe file over here and then click on open and then click on add in my case the game is already added once the game is added over here um, so in my case it is already added once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now amd card users first of all uninstall the current amd gra graphic card driver restart your computer and then go to amd website select your graphic card and then install the latest to graphic card driver and then again restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this you can type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file and then click on add once the game is added scroll down and find the game in the list once you find the game click on the game and then over here you can see gpu preference set it to high performance you will see your graphic card over here now you can launch the game next step is to install visual c plus plus file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website you will see visual studio files so you have to download this x86 and x64 so you have to install this x86 and x64 download it run both the exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option install make sure both are installed once installed restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check next step is to update windows to the latest version for this open windows settings and then go to windows update click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to unplug all the external devices so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnected disconnect extra controller connected to the computer disconnect multiple monitor disable steam overlay now for this you can make a right click on the game select properties and then turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game if you have any other uh, overlay application running like discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running go to nvidia app and then turn off overlay nvidia overlay in settings so or you can close all the overlay application and then launch the game do not overclock so if you have overclocked you can set it to default and then close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner river tuner or any kind of overclocking application running close it also if you have any third party services or application running close it remove the undervolt if you have undervolt 3d computer next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then 
click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1 1.5 1 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to update the system bios so for this go to your system manufacturer website so if you have a dell computer go to dell if you have lenovo go to lenovo so whichever brand you have go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and and then update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery in your computer is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system bios after the bios update you log into the computer and then launch the game now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can uninstall the game. So make a right click, manage, uninstall. Now after the uninstall, install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to other drive like D drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check if that if that does not work. In case if the game is already installed to C drive, then try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.